क्वेश्चन इज गिवन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल इक्वल टू वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वन हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस लेट सी सोल्यूशन स्क्वायर रूट क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव अंडर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू ना स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव फर्स्ट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव प्लस हेयर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस ट्वेंटी फोर वी कैन राइट फोर टाइम्स सिक्स फोर सिक्स या ट्वेंटी फोर राइट ना इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स ना इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव प्लस ना स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर पहले ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर इज टू टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स ना इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव प्लस टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स ना वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड हेयर बाय टू In numerator and denominator, so we can here multiply and divide by two, right? So is equal to we can write this one two times five plus two square root of six divided by two. This one divided by two. Now is equal to now here two times five two five is a ten plus. Two two is a four, so we can write this way: two times two, square root of six, divided by two. Now is equal to. Now this ten we can write in the form of four plus six. So four plus six is ten. So we can write this one: four plus six plus two times two, square root of six, divided by two. Why we are doing this one? Because we have to convert this in the form of a square plus b square plus two ab. So here we are now doing in square form, converting this number in square form. So four four is so this four we can write two square two square is four. So here it will become two square plus now here six. This six we can write square root of six whole square. So it will become six, and this is two square, so it will become four. Plus two times two times square root of six divided by two. Now you can check here. This is a square. If a is two, a equal to two, and b equal to square root of six. So a square that is two square, b square that is square root of six, b square plus two ab. Two times a is two, b is square root of six. So this is the form of a plus b whole square, right? Now is equal to, or you can see here, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two times a b. Now this is the form of a plus b whole square. A is two and b is square root of six. So we can write this one: two plus square root of six whole square divided by Now this is two, so we can write the square root of two whole square. So value will be two, right? So now we have to uh, simplify this one. Now here two plus six, ah, uh, two plus square root of six whole square, and here is square root of two whole square. So we know one formula: if a square upon b square, this is given. So we can write this one: a upon b whole square, right? Now using this formula here, we can write this one: square root. This is square. This is square. So we can write two plus square root of six divided by square root of two whole square. Right. Now here two plus square root of six square root of two, and here square root. So square is cancelled from square root. So we will get here two plus square root of six divided by square root of two. Now we have to rationalize this denominator. To rationalize this denominator, we have to multiply with multiply and divide by square root of two in numerator and denominator. Now, square root of two times two plus square root of six divided by square root of two times square root of two. Now, two square root of two. 
plus square root of 2 times square root of 6 square root of 2 times square root of 6 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 2 square root of uh, 2 square root of 2 it will become a 2 square root of 2 right now 2 square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times square root of 6 divided by square root of 2 square root of 2 it will become here square root of 4 so value will be 2 here now is equal to we can write this one 2 square root of 2 plus square root of uh, this is 6 times 2 so square root of 12 6 to the 12 divided by 2 is equal to 2 square root of 2 plus now this is square root of 12 so we can write this one as square root of 4 times square root of 3 4 3 is a 12 divided by 2 is equal to 2 square root of 2 plus now here square root of 4 so square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3 divided by 2 now you can see here 2 here 2 here 2 so we can take common 2 is equal to we are taking common 2 so left term that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled from this 2 so value will be square root of 2 plus square root of 3 and this is the solution for this equation so we can say here square root of 5 plus square root of 24 is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. This is the solution for this equation. Thank you.